Young Nigerian launches a mobile app to mobilize support for prominent presidential candidates. A young Nigerian has taken his support for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party to another level entirely. Ahead of the 2023 election, Neme Love, who was or who wants the country to experience a changed narrative, decided to launch an app to campaign for Peter Obi grassroots. The app by the young man is to ensure that those at the grassroots level identify with the presidential hopeful and vote for him in the forthcoming general election. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, a young Nigerian built and launched a mobile app to mobilize support for the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi. He sent a message to Nigerians and urged obedience, supporters of Obi, to download the mobile app named Grassroots, which is available for both Android and iPhone users. And in his words, he says, We have to get everyone to the polls if we must take back our country, and Grassroots app can help with that, the young man said. And even the app company has its account on Twitter and of course uses that as, as a platform to promote to promote Peter B as well, which you might say, well that's that's pretty good. And it's funny because even looking at the app, it it has official quotes from Peter Obi's very formal pictures and um I'm not necessarily sure how the app is going to work because really if you're gonna talk about the grassroots we're not referring to those that are on social media definitely not we're talking about those that do not have access to mobile data do not have access to their own phones um and so i think it would be a, it would be hard i think to really reach the grassroots you just would, we just have to do the work by going to the grassroots and meeting them where they are you can't expect them to come meet you on twitter and you know you expect that you're going to get their vote like that that's a a, a a very big disadvantage on your side if we're going to believe that but anyways i think to have an app at least to make sure that obedience can unite under that app and i think you know usage of the app those who download it would be very relevant and again maybe if, if you also have the app you can also show your pvc as well i'm just guessing but why i'm saying that is because when it comes to numbers for example if that app can actually keep track of numbers of those that are supporting those that have gone to vote and those that have their pvcs then we can really start to officially predict numbers in a more professional way because let's say you know, not to our surprise, INEC could decide to mess up. And if they give any you know, inexplicable or if they give excuses and say this is what happened, they can actually say, well, we don't have the right or the exact statistics, but given the amount of followers that we have in this state and this state and this state and this state, we can say that, okay, fine, the numbers here are wrong or the numbers will be manipulated. So I think, you know, in terms of bringing the numbers together, having that record, and using that as as a platform to carry out, you know, um, like sample tests of the population of those that are supporting Peter Obi, I think would be highly relevant. And I think it's pretty good. You'd see that a lot of people, even in Nigeria and the diaspora, are very um, intentional towards this movement with crowdfunding. I mean, about one hundred and fifty million dollars is the target. Um, I I think that is a very 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 big amount. Um, but I don't doubt that when I just put their mind to it, they can actually raise that fund. But it, it, let's be realistic, it's a lot. But I think, obviously, the extent to which people are going to show their support, like this individual that has made the app, it does show a lot. And if anything, it shows the individuals that would be working with Pitabi to make this country better. And I think it, it, it's pretty it's pretty good. Um Looking at the app as well, and even other you know supporters giving their business premises to the operations of the party. I mean, you know, it it can't get any better than that because we're looking at 2023 elections, and it would be none like ever. We are literally making history, to be honest. Well, not like in a in a magnificent oh my days way, but really like okay, we should have done this a long time ago. We're literally just getting our act together. But really, we could see the voting population double or triple in 2023. And I think that is massive improvement because really 
what we would have is less of the blame game because we can say that you know those that have voted will be a significant chunk of the population and really or even at least half of the population will be able to vote and you can say for sure okay fine majority carries the vote right so really we will, we will not be in that state where we lack accountability but not accountability because in the past well you didn't vote so you can't necessarily complain what the outcome is but now if you voted whatever the outcome is you can actually say you had a say in what had happened and it's either you feel good or you feel bad but really you can't necessarily say you can't engage in the conversation because you didn't vote so really there are so many benefits to what the 2020 elections would be like and of course the emergence of Pitabi inspiring a lot of people especially the youth to you know um register themselves and register and get their voters cards because really mass registration of voters cards was i guess something that was really astronomical when you look at the numbers because i don't think any other parties was able to achieve that kind of that kind of success with any of their candidates to be honest so um i think it, it is it is in my opinion pretty impressive to be honest very very impressive uh, let's look at the comments. It seems that you don't know the meaning of prominent. Peter B is not a prominent candidate when there's Aswaju Bala Ahmed and Atiku. Okay. According to this individual, Peter B is not prominent and prominent cannot be a word that is used for someone like Peter B when you have the likes of Tinubu and Atiku. So let's look at the meaning of prominent. And the most applicable definition here says important or famous. And um, synonyms are important, well-known, leading, eminent, preeminent, distinguished, da, da, da. and sentence. She was a prominent member of the city council. So with that definition, you feel like Peter B does not apply. Are you serious? And when we say prominent, I think as as far as the, as the, the meaning goes, it's really not just important or famous. Because you can be known, but then you cannot be as respected and let's not mix things up when in, in a society where if we want to you know regard somebody as important prominent you know let's be honest we, we look at their financial capability because your money does not mean you're prominent or because you because again if you look at the likes of article and Tinubu and if you look at our society and who we regard as you know quality individuals we look at their wealth to a very very large extent and not necessarily their character so yes you can be important and you know, I, I think we need to distinguish um, popular, you know, well-known. You can say, yes, they, of course they are well-known. They've been in the political space for long. And, it, I mean, we're talking one who's been, I think, vice president and another who, who has been a, a governor. So, of course, they are well-known. But we need to understand that just because they have money and they have political power does not mean that they are you know, they suit that adjective. You can say popular, well-known, but when you say important and famous and use the word prominent, it suggests more to the person's character and, you know, reception to a very large extent. But again, it's an Nigerian society. You can really define whatever you want as whatever you want, to be honest. You can come and argue with me on this. Who I think in the comment section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.